And welcome to Rate My Gadget. So, as you can see, um, the display is completely dead. So, first step, really easy, is all you want to do is you want to push this rubber seal away from that white bit. So, see how it's popping away there. So, you can push on this back thermometer bit here. So, then as you can see, it just literally pops out the holder, and that, that's it. So, really, all this is this rubber mount, and while it's there, you may want to clean the inside out. It's just for it to float in the bath. This is the main bit. And then all you've got on the back end here is you've got two screws, one and two. So you just undo those two and then it just takes that off. So let's do that now. Right, you'll find that this little latch here just pulls up like that. And what you've got to be careful of is this little plastic bit here. Oh, excuse me. Which is like a little rubber seal bit. So you don't really want to tear or nick that because that will mean that water's getting in. And actually, as you can see, and that's probably why I'm having issues. There's a few drops inside, so I am obviously getting some water inside. And then all you do is just turn it upside down, give it a bit of a bang. <coughs> One's come out. It's pretty easy. Just take the batteries out, and they face button down. Links to the batteries are, um, are at the bottom. The reverse of doing it all up is you put this back on. Make sure it's tie it up tight. If you have got water in it like mine you may just want to put a little bit of a cotton wool bud in there to dry it out. Links are at the bottom for the batteries and I've also put the link for this bath thermometer and there's a review for it on the Rate My Gadget channel if, you, if you're interested. Okay, thanks for watching.